No matter where a Jew finds himself, he needs to know that whatever service he's doing for his Creator is beautiful and precious to the Creator. Indeed, this is the way that Tzfat Met interprets the famous Pirkei Avot, who is wealthy, who is content with his lot. This isn't just speaking about physical wealth, being content with your physical lot. It means your spiritual lot too. We see this with Yosef HaTzadik. The Ketav Sofer tells us that Joseph went from a lofty place. His service to God when he was with his father and his holy brothers must have been on another level. But then he plummets to the abyss, to this lowly prison in the middle of Egypt. And you would think that there something might change. Nevertheless, the Pasuk tells us that Hashem was with him. And he was an Ishmat Sliach. He was a successful individual. Hashem was with him. Our sages tell us that Hashem is only with someone who is very much in a state of happiness. Therefore, we can conclude that the reason Hashem was with him was because he was in a state of happiness. Why? Because he was an Ishmat Sliach. Because he was a successful individual. He believed that everything he was doing there in terms of his spiritual service, even in the abyss, in a prison of all places, where he didn't have all the commandments, all the Torah for him and everything. Even there, the little, whatever he was able to do, he thought it was successful. This brought him to a state of joy and allowed the divine presence to rest upon him. We can see it further with the Chashmonaim in the time of Hanukkah. The Torah more tells us that all the other holidays, Purim, Pesach, are named after wondrous miracles that happened in relation to that time. But Hanukkah, Chanukah, they rested on the 25th. What's his name? And he says that when the Chashmonaim, these priests, had to go out to the battlefield, they no longer had time to pray and study the way they used to. On the battlefield, all they had time to do was say 25 letters. Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. They had only one thing to do, but they were content in this spiritual service, knowing that this at this time, is all that Hashem wanted from them, and they did it with the utmost joy. And this is what allowed for them to overcome such a seemingly insurmountable force. The 25 letters, that seemingly little service they were able to do at that time. Let us all know and take to heart that anything we are doing in terms of Avodat Hashem, our service of Hashem, no matter how small it may be, no matter where we find ourselves sometimes in a limited place, even so, Hashem takes great precious joy out of the things that we do. And God willing, Hashem will inevitably bring us the greatest redemption thanks to doing even these small things with the greatest and utmost of joy.